What's up, everybody? Venter is coming back at you with tutorial number four in my series. Um, if you were with us in the last two tutorials, uh, we um, basically what we did is we, in our town of Townville, we created an inn. And inside the inn, we created an event here that allows us to uh, make an event so that the character can stay at the inn. Um, so in this video, we are going to um, get into shops. Um, shops are not available with the quick event creation tool, so we'll have to do some events ourselves. Now, I'm going to go back out here to Townville, the map Townville. You can see here that I created the item shop and the armory already. Um, I didn't want to spend too much time drawing. I mean, you guys, you know, um, I showed you how to draw uh, the inside of the inn, and you could take what you learned there. Um, you know, if you haven't um, made an item shop map or an armory map, go ahead and pause the video and do that now. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to go to Townville here, and we have to create um, some door events that will take us into the respective buildings. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that real quickly. I'm going to create a door, right? Right click, quick event, door. So I'm going to use the same graphic. I'm going to click up here and I want this to be the item shop. And I want to come in right here. Right there in that square. So we'll hit OK. And OK there. So that should be good. I'm going to do the same thing over here with the armory. Keep the same door, and this will take us to the armory map. Alright, you should be pretty good with uh, creating door events now. Um, the next thing I'll do real quickly is I'm going to create the event that allows us to go back out into the town. So I'm going to do that very quickly. Um, so that's the item shop. And you can see how fast uh, you can do these things, um, especially with um, you know the different uh, quick event creation tools that are there. Um, I want to face down, and I want to go back to Townville, and I want to pop out right here in front of the armory. Cool. So I'm going to Control C to copy, and I'm going to paste those events there. And we're going to test it. Like I said, you always want to test. You want to test everything you do. Um, you know, like I said, you don't want to spend a bunch of time working on something just to find out that one or two things didn't work the way you wanted them to. So let's go into our town. Move the mouse out of the way here. So we're in the item shop. Just gonna test the armory door. Okay, that's all I'm gonna do with that. Okay, so now what we have to do is we have to create two shop events. So I'll start in the item shop. Uh, make sure you're in event editing mode and pick any of these squares that you want. I'll pick this one here. Um, what you want to do now, like I said, if you right click and try to go to a quick event creation, all you have is a transfer door, treasure chest, or in. So we're going to have to make a new event pretty much from scratch. So um, you can either right click or, um, and click new event, or you can double click, or a third option, you can press enter. So if you watch tutorial 3.5, you kind of got a basic overview of this map. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, not a map, the um, event page. So we're going to call this event Shopkeeper. So some things that we're going to do differently than we did in the last event we created. Um, the last event we created didn't have a graphic, so we're going, to, we're going to pick a graphic of what our shopkeeper is going to look like. Um, so I'm going to go here to People 1 and see if any of these look like they would be a good shopkeeper. And uh, I'm going to pick this guy right here. You can pick anyone you want. It doesn't really matter. Now remember, before we get into the actual 
event commands, remember I told you, you, you have to determine what trigger you're gonna to use to trigger the event. In the last one, we used the parallel process to give our character 50 starting gold. Um, there's more than one way to accomplish that, but I chose to do a parallel process. You could have done an auto run event, but in this case, uh, in the cases of the shops, we're going to use the action button because we want the character to walk up to the shopkeeper, press the action button, and then engage in the shop dialogue and whatnot. Okay, so here we go. We're going to eat. We're going to first. We're going to insert some text. Okay, and this is going to be our first time doing text. So let's click show text. It's the very first one. It's probably the most common event you'll use. So this is the show text um, window here. And it kind of looks a little strange at first. You got a text box, looks pretty self-explanatory. And um, you have these two markers. And these two markers are used to give you a visual aid of how much text is gonna fit into the window, okay? If you use a face graphic, I'll just double click here and click on uh, people one, you can use any of these facial graphics if you want. Um, I'm not gonna do that for a shopkeeper, um, but you can if you want. So if you use a face graphic, the window is gonna cut out right before this first marker, uh, margin, excuse me. If you don't use a face graphic, you have until the second margin so you have to keep you have to keep uh, you have to keep an eye on where your text is in relation to these margins. So okay, let's type in um, "Welcome to the item shop." I guess that'll work. Feel free to browse my wares. So I am right on the margin there. So let me go over here to preview and we can see what the message is going to look like in the game. And you can see that feel free to browse my way. So wares didn't make it. So all you have to do is just kind of backspace and hit enter. Welcome to item shop. Feel free to browse my wares. Good. Um, you can position the window in the bottom, the middle, or the top. I'm going to leave it on the bottom. And you can use a dim background, which looks like this. Welcome to the item shop. Or you can use transparent, which uh, has no window. We're just going to use the regular window for now. You Feel free to use whichever one you like. So now we hit OK, and in the event page, you can see that the first event that is the first thing that happens when the character presses the action button is welcome to the item shop feel free to browse my wares the next thing we're going to do is create another event command that brings up the shop so double click in here and there are uh, you know like I was showing you in the last video there are quite a few uh, different event commands you can use um, but we are going to go to page three and where it says scene control the section here we're going to do shop processing okay it calls up a shop screen for the buying and selling of items and equipment very nice so we're going to click that now the shop processing window pops up and it is asking you what merchandise you want to have at the shop so you double click and let's see you can, this window pops up you can either choose item weapon or armor so I'll show you how to edit edit some of this stuff because you know potion high potion full potion all this stuff was kind of created by the game it has um, values like um, uh, prices already kind of assigned to them so we're not going to worry too much about that right now so we'll make sure we have a potion okay hit OK so now the potion is there the price is 50 alright let's go to antidote it's usually a pretty good item to have for a first you know like a starting uh, um, a starting shop I guess in the first area of the game 
and stimulant. So as you can see, it has the goods listed. 50, 30, and 250 are the different prices. And that's good for right now. Hit OK. Now, that is how that works. Okay. So the shop processing is done. And typically when you're done buying or selling, a character will usually say thanks for shopping. So we'll put in another text event command that just says thank you for shopping and we'll preview that that's what it looks like hit OK and that's that that's all you have to do you don't have to end this event okay because you want this to happen um, every time you could trigger the action button you don't want the event to only happen once so let's hit OK and let's test it out so we're gonna save the changes. Let's give it a shot. All right, so I'm gonna hit the action button here. Welcome to the item shop. Feel free to browse my wares. Thank you very much, bye. You can see that our three items are there. God, this music is loud. All right, let me turn it down. So when I cancel out of the menu, it should say thank you for shopping, and that's it. And it just and it works again. Pretty easy, right? So we're gonna do this again in the armory. So we're gonna click over here to the armory map, and we're gonna do the same thing very quickly. Um, double click we can name it armorer I guess or you know you can call it whatever you want armsman whatever you want okay so we'll pick um, we'll go over here to graphics we will pick I'm going to pick someone from people one I'm going to pick this old man right here double check that the trigger is the action button then we'll do the same kind of thing show text you can type in whatever you want my blades are the sharpest around I don't know just something just some flavor okay then we'll double click again and we'll, the scene controls on tab 3 shot processing then here's where we choose our goal, our goods. So we want a weapon, and then the first weapon, hand axe, is fine. So we'll hit OK, and you have to do this for each weapon that you want to carry. So where is short sword? I want that. And um, wood staff, some good starting weapons. And then we want to throw some armor in here, so we'll throw the casual clothes. Leather top. And let's find a helmet. Feather cap. I mean, it really doesn't matter. You're just kind of getting an idea for it. Um, copper brace. And let's find some shields, or at least one shield. Um, buckler. Okay, so we got some a few different weapons and and uh, and armor here. So we'll hit OK. And you can look; everything happens in sequential order. So, text: My blades are the sharpest around is going to happen. Then the shot process is going to go down. And then when you're done. We'll, sh we'll do another show text event that says good luck out there. Just leave it at that. Hit OK and let's test that one out. It's pretty easy once you've done it a few times. You get the hang of how events work. I'm gonna hit the action button. My blades are sharp as around. 
That's a text we put in. There's all of our stuff. We can't buy any of it because uh, we only have 50 gold. And we cancel out. Good luck out there. Thank you very much, sir. That's, that's all we're looking for. So as you can see here, Townville is complete uh, as far as the inn, the item shop, and the weapon shop. Excuse me. So, I think we're at a good place to stop. We'll keep this video very short, um, or at least relatively short. Um, next time, what we're going to do, we are going to put someone in the inn right here that's going to give us um, a quest, something to do. Um, so, that will be another event, and we'll get into um, conditional branches, which is going to... Um, which allows you to say, uh, we're, basically what we're going to do is we're, we're going to retrieve an item for this person here. And we're going to create a conditional branch that says, if you have the item that the guy is looking for in your inventory, then something will happen. But if you don't have the item, something else will happen. That's called a conditional branch. And that's going to be the main uh, part of our short tutorial in the next video. So once again, I'm Venthros. Thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. See ya.